What's up everybody? So you're thinking about moving to Florence, Oregon. Well, we are here in the heart of Florence. As you'll see, Florence has a lot to offer. In this video, I'm gonna take you around town, show you a little bit of the city, and also take you to some properties at different price points so you can see what might fit inside your budget. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna share one gem about Florence you're definitely gonna to wanna to see. And we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living on the Oregon coast and Florence, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market on the coast. My name is Eddie, I'm a local agent. I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to the coast, especially Florence. I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or email us. We're happy to help you make a smooth move to the Oregon coast today. And we're gonna be getting after it right now. So what can you get between three and $400,000 in Florence? Well, right here we have a four bedroom, one bath, 1,660 square foot house. It's been on the market for about a week. It's right now at about $349,000. This is June of 2023. This thing was built in the 1940s. So you're getting something that's dated. It's got some age to it, but has some vintage, um, locations and obviously uh, some different building techniques that are going to be dated but you see that in a lot of cities in American cities you know built in the 30s and 40s World War II era uh, homes this is what you're getting in the south side of Florence um, I'll try to show you some newer construction as well but this is going to be kind of where you're at in that three to four hundred thousand dollar range but I mean when you go up and down the coast if you can find a good house in that three hundred thousand dollar range you're in a great spot so Stop one, $340,000, four bedroom, one bath, 1,660 square feet in South Florence. And right now we are in Old Town Florence, um, right here across the street from me. We got a two bed, one bath house that was built in 1943 in Old Town. It is, um, you know, just under a thousand square feet and it's going for $445,000. Um, it's been on the market for about 60 days um, but you are in the heart of old town as you'll see in some of the footage that we get this is a great option i mean you want to be right in walkability to the restaurants you want to be walkability to the coffee shops and and the saisla river and the old town everything that you have it's right here this is a great place to be and you can do it for four hundred forty-five thousand dollars um, that's kind of what you're looking at when you're down in Old Town. So I've shown you one in the three to four hundred, now we're four to five hundred range in Old Town, Florence. And now we're going to move a little north as we move forward in, in the tour. We're here on 16th Street in Florence. We got two houses right here for sale, right across the street from each other. This one, this is a three bedroom, three bath, 2100 square foot house, two car garage. It's uh, built in 1980. And it's going for $399,000. It's on a corner lot, about 10,000 square feet lot. So there's room to expand if you wanted to. Um, and it's really a great house. I mean, this is for the middle of Florence. You're, you know, uh, half a mile from all the schools, which is across Highway 101. This is on the east side of 101. This is a great option. Obviously, if you want a single level and you don't want to have to climb stairs to get into your house, that might be a little bit different. Well, right across the street from it, you have a four bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot house. And this one's going for 499. This one is going for hundred thousand dollars more because it's, it's way more well, it's just well kept. It's uh, got a beautiful lot. It's got areas to park an RV hookups, uh, beautiful backyard. Everything is updated. So there's two different options there, but you can see that houses in Florence are going to get you anywhere from 300, 400, 500,000, what I've been showing you. And there are other options um, and other listings available on the west side of 101, more on the west side of the airport, west side of the schools. And some of those will go from 400,000 all the way up to 700,000. I'm gonna take you to some of the stores um, that you'll probably be shopping at when you're in Florence. But um, right now, just thinking about you know some housing options there's going to be listings coming and going but i just wanted to give you an idea of what your money could do and how it could fit inside your budget 
if you're thinking about moving to Florence. Well, here in Old Town, Florence, on the riverfront, one place, a special gem that I love about Florence is right here, River Roasters Espresso and Gifts right behind me. It's right along the bridge. Um, it's got great coffee. It's got great breakfast food. It's got different pastries, bakery items, snacks, gifts, all kinds of things that you would love to have if you're on the coast, if you live here in Florence, or if you're just stopping by, um, it's a great place. And right along the same, the same strip, you've got all kinds of different restaurants and different places to eat, shop, visit, and see. So this is a great place. Just go to the, go to the uh, Sayuslav River Bridge and then just walk east along Old Town and you'll get to see all that Florence has to offer. One awesome gem of Florence, just south of Florence, here is the Torix ATV rental shop. Perfect place to come get a side-by-side, -side, a sand rail, a four-wheeler, take it out onto the dunes, explore the 31,500 acres of designated uh, recreational area here in Oregon, on the Oregon coast, just south of Florence, just north of Reedsport. It's one of the coolest areas you could go on the coast. My family, tons of friends and family, locals, people from all around the state, all around the country, love to come to Florence to enjoy the dunes. So if you're in Florence or you move to Florence, one awesome place to come is this place or many of the other ATV rental or tour guide services that will take you around the dunes and show you all over so you can enjoy the fun of the Oregon National Park sand dunes here in Florence. So when you're in Florence, you're living in Florence, where are you gonna go shopping? You might go shopping at Safeway, which is close to Old Town, close to Highway 126 that goes to Eugene, or you might come here, Fred Myers, which is on the north side of town. Uh, this is when I'm in town and I'm gonna go shopping, this is where I go. I go to Fred Meyer, it's got kind of everything. It's got your groceries, it's got, you know, sporting goods, it's got hunting goods, it's got camping, it's got, you know, your dishware, clothing, shoes, basically everything. It's a big, uh, just store for everything, you know? And it's got gas right here. You can get your uh, Fred Meyer rewards card, put something off on your gas. But this is probably where you're gonna go shopping, either here or Safeway. They got Thriftway, uh, uh, Buy Mart, some different areas that you can go get some different things. But if you're gonna go shopping for food or normal day-to-day -day things, this is probably where you're gonna go. So I've taken you through Florence, showing you some houses, showing you uh, Old Town. And I just wanna say, I really appreciate you watching the video. If there's anything that you need, whether it's a video of a specific house, you want some information about different areas within Florence or anywhere on the Oregon coast, I'm all up and down the coast. I'm the hardest working agent on the Oregon coast. I can do uh, whatever you need me to do from Brookings all the way to Astoria. I am centrally located in Newport. Let me know what I can do for you. I'm here for you. Um, you can give me a call, you can text me, you can email me. Find all those uh, specifics in the description, but just let me know how I can help. I'm, I'm here to help and uh, I hope to hear from you. But until next time, have a great day and get after it.